So we're looking forward to the fifth phase of polling on uh, Monday when uh, you'll have 51 of the 543 constituencies that will be going. Just take a look at this. Out of the 51 seats in this phase, BJP had won 39. Four out of five seats almost uh, as far as uh, this particular phase is concerned. A bulk of the seats in Uttar Pradesh, there are about 13, 14 seats in Uttar Pradesh. The rest of Rajasthan, the remaining half of Rajasthan, including Jaipur, will be voting this time. A few seats in Madhya Pradesh, uh, some of the remaining seats in Bengal, five or six of them in Bengal will be voting. You have Jharkhand, critically, uh, five seats in Jharkhand which will be voting. You've got another four seat, five seats in uh, Bihar as well. And then, of course, you've got uh, to round off. Uh, the elections in Jammu and Kashmir, both Ladakh, as well as the remaining bit of uh, the Anantna constituency will be voting. As far as Uttar Pradesh is concerned, this time around, you have uh, most famously Amethi and Rai Bareilly, which will be voting in this phase. So of all the orange that you see in just the two lone blues, these are Amethi and Rai Bareilly. Rai Bareilly, Sonia Gandhi's constituency, she's been winning there since she uh, started uh, her active political debut. Uh, Amethi, of course, uh, used to be her mother-in-law's seat, used to be her husband's seat. And Rahul Gandhi has been representing Amethi since 2004. This time it's going to be a kate ke takkar as they say between Smriti Irani and uh, Rahul Gandhi because last time she had reduced the winning margin of Rahul Gandhi down to just about 1 lakh votes. The other high profile of course is Lucknow which is the capital city. Rajnath Singh, the Home Minister is fighting from there. Uh, Poonam Sinha, who is the wife of Shatrugan Sinha, has been fielded as the Gathbandhan's candidate, the SPBSP candidate uh, and interestingly she happens to be uh, the richest candidate in terms of declared assets, she's got declared assets as per her election affidavit, somewhere to the tune of 190 crores plus. That is a lot of money uh, that uh, Poonam Sinha has declared. So she's taking on Rajnath Singh. This again is a, an important phase for the BJP. Like I said, uh, out of the 13 seats, the BJP, uh, out of the 14 seats, BJP had won 12. Other than Amethi and Raibarili, they had swept this phase. Uh, and so critically, it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, whether the BJP can repeat its performance uh, in this phase. Uh, you have Sitapur, where the Congress has fielded a BSP uh, uh, MLA, a former BSP MLA. You have Baharaj, where the Congress has fielded, uh, fielded a BJP MP who then switched over, Savitrabai Phule, a Dalit MP at that. Uh, so it's, it's an interesting uh, phase. Uh, it, it's not going to be as easy for the BJP in this phase uh, as it was in 2014. So let's talk about Rajasthan. Like I said, the first half voted in the previous phase. Uh, in this phase, the remaining uh, seats of Rajasthan, the remaining 12, uh, will vote. The most high profile, of course, is the fight for Jaipur Rural. Very, very interesting uh, fight this. This is Rajwardhan Singh Rathod, who is the sitting minister uh, for information and broadcasting in Mr. Modi's government. Uh, he's taking on Krishna Punya. Last time he won by a margin of 3.3 lakh votes. Jharkhand, it's an interesting phase, this one, phase five, because uh, some of the most important constituencies are going to polls, including the uh, capital, Ranchi, from where Subodh Khan Sahai had won in 2009, but he lost by almost two lakh votes to the BJP candidate uh, Ram Chaudhary uh, in 2014. Jain who is uh, the son of uh, Yashwan Sinha, who is a uh, uh, MOS uh, civil aviation. Uh, he's, of course, fighting from Hazaribagh, used to be his father's old constituency. Uh, he had won, again, by one and a half lakh votes last time around. Uh, whether or not he will be able to repeat that, this whole cow lynching uh, controversy that seems to sort of surround him, will that cost him? We're not sure. Two former chief ministers are also in the fray in this phase. Uh, you have in uh, Kodarma, uh, uh, you have uh, Babulal Marandi, who is a former chief minister fighting from Kodarma, which is a tribal dominant seat. And then uh, in the southernmost constituency uh, in, um, in Kunti, where again a former chief minister, Arjun Munda uh, of the BJP, uh, he is fighting uh, from, from this particular seat. Uh, let's talk about uh, some of the other states that are polling. I want to quickly touch upon West Bengal. Phase 5, interesting battle here in Bangao. This is the fight for uh, the Matua vote because Bangao is where Boroma, the, the matriarch of uh, the Matuas, she passed away recently. The perception is and the hope for the BJP is that the Matuas would vote. Uh, in favor of the BJP away from the Trinamool. Uh, so it is Boroma's daughter-in-law, uh, Mamta Bala Thakur, who's taking on uh, Boroma's nephew, uh, Shantanu Thakur. So it's the fight of the Thakurs in Bangao. But I also want to quickly go through some of the other constituencies. Two constituencies on the outskirts of Kolkata are voting. Uh, Hooghly, where Lokit Chatterjee of the, uh, of the BJP is hoping uh, to win this time. She's a, 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 a yesteryear actor, a, a popular face there. And you also have uh, Howda. Uh, which is which is uh, voting as well. But quickly, I want to take uh, take up another constituency, Barakpur, uh, where again uh, you have an interesting fight. Dinesh Trivedi, former minister uh, in the UPA government and a close Mamta confidant, uh, is taking on uh, Arjun Singh, who happened to be 
or a, a former TMC MLA, I think he was a three or four time MLA, switched over to the BJP, the BJP gave him a ticket. Uh, so Barakpur is a constituency to watch out for Jammu and Kashmir because you've got both uh, Anant Nag, the final leg of the Anant Nag seat, uh, where Pulwama, interestingly, uh, will be voting as well. Uh, there, of course, we had the terror attack back in February in which 40 CRPF Jawans died. Mehbooba Mufti, of course, is contesting from uh, the PDP there. So this is this is the, the final leg of the Anand Nag seat uh, where we are under where Pulwama, Pulwama falls. Uh, uh, so that will be voting this time around. And you have Ladakh, which is uh, you know one of the biggest constituencies by geographical area where Tupsan Chewang of the BJP had won by the lowest margin. Uh, in all of the 543 constituencies, he won by just 36 votes. Uh, so, will uh, that be repeated this time, or will it uh, uh, will it swing another way?